Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my morning skincare routine. I've been doing this routine for about six months now. Last year my face really really broke out really bad. I had scars, I had blemishes, I had spots, I had everything that you could really think of I had. I've had to change my whole skincare routine and I am now doing a four to five step process and before I was doing what two products, two steps in my old routine so yeah but I think it's working pretty good. So it's been about a week now since I shaved my face and this is what my face is looking like. As you can see no sort of allergic reactions or anything from that. So um, yeah, just got a few, few little spots here. That's just my skin. My skin just breaks out regardless of the shaving, it just breaks out from time to time. Okay, so I'm not in my bathroom, I'm <laughs> recording in my normal recording space, but my bathroom is just there anyway, so I'm gonna be <laughs> running to and from my bathroom. So let's get into my routine. With my morning routine, the first step I will do is to wash my face with my Neutrogena Daily Exfoliator. It's the pink grapefruit and vitamin C one. This came a little bit later into my routine and this made all the difference. I'm gonna go wet my face and then I'll be right back. So I just wet my face with warm water and I'm gonna take my daily exfoliator. I'm not gonna use a lot, but that much. So usually, obviously, I would wash my face in the bathroom. I try not to wash my face in the shower, purely because I just wanna have my main focus on my face. So I got this product from another YouTuber who was using this product to clear up her face as well. So I thought I'd try it out. And honestly, I didn't really expect that much from it because my skin, does not like products <laughs> like it's very very specific on what products I can use on my skin so yeah I didn't really expect anything much from it but I was pleasantly surprised by this product and how well it worked so this facial scrub contains pink breakthrough and vitamin C which helps to achieve a more clearer and more radiant complexion and I've been needing a product to help brighten up my skin because it's been looking really dull recently. So yeah, I just rubbed that all over my face for about a minute to really work the product into my pores and to clear out all the gunk. And the next thing I'm doing is taking my exfoliating facial sponge. I've been using these exfoliating sponges since I was a teen. I have bought myself one of those spinning face brushes before and I loved it. But you have to keep changing the heads or else you're just going to have a lot of bacteria on the brush. So I just went back to these and I buy them in bulk and just throw them out when they get a bit old. So yeah, I just apply a little bit more of that facial wash on the sponge and lather it up and gently exfoliate my skin. It's like a buffer, it's not a harsh exfoliator, so it just buffs off all the dirt and dead skin basically. I don't scrub too hard and I only scrub for about 30 seconds, making sure to exfoliate my lips a little bit near my brows and the crack of my nose too. It's because those are areas where I tend to get a little bit of dry skin and I avoid the under eye area because that skin is sensitive and delicate. And once I've done that, I rinse it off thoroughly with lukewarm water. And I mean thoroughly because you don't want any excess product left on your face because that will cause breakouts. And I also don't use towels on my face anymore. It's because they can harbor bacteria. So I just use my son's old muslins now and I just pat my face dry, being careful not to rub my skin. So next I'm gonna take my Revolution Salicylic Acids and I'm gonna take about two drops of that and rub that all over my face. So my main focus was to clear my spots and salicylic acid helps to reduce the look of blemishes and it encourages a clearer complexion. It targets breakouts, enlarged pores and blackheads. So I gather that this would be the perfect product for my skincare routine. So yeah, I just rub that all over my face and I move on to the next step once that serum soaks into my skin. And then I'm gonna take my hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary, and I'm also gonna take two drops of that and rub that all over my face. This helps with hydration and helps to keep the skin moisturized and radiant. So when I apply my acids or serums, I do avoid my lips because the lips are a sensitive area. Also, you probably noticed I don't use a toner. Um, I did used to use a toner. I used to use the glycolic acid from The Ordinary, but that made my skin break out 
So I don't use it as a toner anymore. I just use it as like a pre-cleanser. So if my face is feeling a little bit grimy, especially after doing my hair, I would just, you know, wipe that over my face before I start my skincare routine, just to give it a head start. And the last step is to moisturize with my Neutrogena Clear and Soothe Moisturizer. And I'm not gonna take too much, just enough to cover the whole of my face. This is another product that was recommended from another YouTuber and this also came a little bit later into my routine and I apply a small amount all over my face. This cream is a little bit lightweight, probably would have preferred it to be a little bit thicker but it's okay, it doesn't dry out my skin. But yeah, this helps to hydrate and calm spot prone skin. It has turmeric in it which is rich in antioxidants and it has calming properties. So I do think that this product really helped to soothe and calm my skin because when I tell you my spots were raging, they were raging. So yeah, I do feel like this is a good product if you do have spot prone skin. So I was using a different facial wash and a different moisturiser in the beginning. I think it's called Ayumi. And I changed them out for these new streamer ones because those products were not doing anything. In fact, I feel like they were breaking me out more. It was a turmeric face wash. So I thought, okay, let me use more of a natural product. One that's not going to have too many nasties in it. But um, yeah, it did nothing for my skin. So that's my morning skincare routine, guys. I hope it was informative and useful and I hope it will help some of you out there. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content and subscribe to my channel for more videos from me. My nighttime skincare routine will be up on my channel soon too so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!